What is going on everybody? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you a cool little Windows 10 video editing application. If you guys are kind of new to YouTube or you just want to edit videos for YouTube or Instagram TV or IGTV, then this video is just for you. I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible for you guys if you guys have never uh, or not experienced with uh, video editing. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to use Animotica video editor for Windows 10. If you guys want to download this and give it a try, a link will be down in the description for you guys to try. So in this case, I'm going to be doing edit video or you can create a new project. I'm going to click on edit video for now and I'm going to select a video. So click on this little button there to uh, select uh, your video. So I'm going to select this one for the time being and I'm going to click open. So once it has finished loading up, this is what the interface looks like. So you can go ahead and push play. You can pause, you can mute it or you can play it from the beginning as you can see and you can go ahead and skim through the timeline by clicking this little circle or this little um, time head uh, piece here and you can move that along as well. Uh, if you want to skim through uh, frame by frame you can do that but if you do it too fast it might take a little while to actually make it move a little faster. So over here in the settings you even have the option to change it. So you have the preview quality, you have low, which is what they recommend, and you can see the quality there. They have middle, and then they have high. And you can also change the video aspect ratio by clicking here and changing it to your desired uh, aspect ratio. So if you're going to be editing videos for YouTube, then you want this one here, which is a 16 by 9. If you want a square, you can do this one. Click that, and it will change it for you, as, as you can see there. You can do Instagram if you want it a little taller. You can do Instagram stories or Instagram TV, and it will trim it to the video there. You can do ultra wide. You can do classic TV, which is a 4 by 3. So down here, we have the option to add clips and to trim them and cut them and so on. So before we do that though, I want to show you guys what these tools in the bottom are. So over here we have the project settings. So if you click on this, this is pretty much allows you to change the aspect ratio as you can over here in the settings here. Um, you also have the fill to fit. So you have if you're working with a photo or a video, you can fit this to the full frame or you can fit it. Uh, if you guys are fitting it though, and it's a little smaller than the actual frame, you can have the option of making this white or or black or whatever color. And I'm show you what that what I mean. So if I do stories here and I go to fill, I want let's say I want this whole video to fit within this window. I'm gonna click on fit, so it will add a blur. But let's say you don't want to blur, well you can change these by clicking on this, and you can do something like this, or you can do black or white pink, red, like a pinkish red or red. Over here in the transitions, uh, if you cut clips or split them, you have options of adding transitions. So you have none if you don't want to use any. You have opacity, so it gives you a preview beforehand uh, so you know what you're working with. And you can also change the duration of the transition. So if you want it to go slower or faster, you can go ahead and adjust this with the slider there. And over here, if you have a photo, uh, you can change the photo duration. So if you're creating a slideshow, stuff like that, then this will allow you to change the time that it takes for it to transition to another clip. Um, so that's the project setting. So now in the effects here, we have the options of adding some color effects. So we can do something like this. You can do Mayor Fair, you can do Hudson. Uh, so in this case, for me, I want to go with high so you guys can see the better quality. Uh, so we have something like this. Uh, these are inspired by the Instagram filters, of course, as you can't already tell. Uh, so you have a whole bunch of options there. Oh, that looks creepy. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, you have collage effects. So if you want that cool collage looking effect, you guys can go ahead and choose that as well. So you can do like CG2, CG3, and so on. And we'll go back here and we're going to go into the ad. So here in the ad button, you can go ahead and add video clips or photo clips. So let's say we want to add more clips here. I'm going to click on that plus button and I'm going to do this one. I'm going to click open. All right. And then your next clip is going to go in front of this clip here. So if you go back here, you can add a color clip. And what a color clip is, it pretty much makes it a background. So you can do text on this, emojis, whatever it you want to add. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you also have gradients if you want to do gradients. So you guys also have the option of making a video or a photo and this will open up the webcam uh, application. Uh, you can also add audio. So if you guys have music or you can also import, um, like you can import some that are already made by Animotica or you can choose a file that you guys own. 
Um, that isn't copyright, of course. So once you add music, you can tell uh, because there's a little notification next to the audio. Uh, so that's that. And you also have the option of adding overlays. As you can see, you can add text, add stickers, add picture and video, add video and video. Uh, I'm not going to get too in detail with everything just because I don't want to make this video too long. Over here in the audio, uh, once you add to your song, you're going to have a little notification. So if you click on that, you guys can add more audio. You can trim it. So if you trim it, you can like select the end here and just trim it down to your, your desired time. And you can change the volume. If it's too loud, just click this and decrease it. You can also fade this in and fade it out. And this is in seconds. So now if we go back and we go back again, this will save your setting. Uh, you also have the option of duplicating the audio. And if you want to delete it, click the delete button. The overlays are really cool. You can add stickers, custom logos, photos, videos, and so on. So to do this, just click this little plus icon and you could add text. So I'm going to add some text. I'm going to name this Long Beach, even though it's really not Long Beach. You can change uh, the alignment, text alignment there. I'm, I'm just going to keep it on uh, center aligned. Uh, over here in the font is where you can change the font to your desired font. Uh, I personally like this one. Uh, you can change the font size if you want to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And you can change the line spacing. You can also do motion. So you can do something like that. Uh, you can change the font color if you really wanted to. You could add some shadows so you can disable it or enable it. Uh, I'm going to enable it just because it makes it a little easier to read. You have the option of doing an opacity slash blending. So this allows you to kind of blend the text. It's pretty much the blending option. So you want to blend it so you can kind of uh, see through the uh, font there or the text. You can do that. You can all, This also works if you want to add your watermark too. The location you can change here. You can do custom position and so on. And you can rotate the text here if you want. Or you can do it over here as well. So uh, I'm going to go back though. Here you can change the starting point and the ending point. So I'm going to start it at the beginning and I'm going to run it for around here. And you have a whole bunch of options here as well, but they're pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to go back and that is the overlay. So if you want to add another one, you can do add like add stickers, uh, romance style. You have birthday parties, winter, Christmas, social, and they have a lot more elements, of course, coming in soon. So you can do YouTube uh, social icons, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to do something like this and I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to rotate this, probably make it a little bit smaller. And you can also do the same uh, same options as you can in the text. So I'm just going to go back and you also have the other option of adding a photo or a video within this. So if you click on that and we want to do like, let's say this. Yeah, let's do that one. Um, you can move this and make it bigger. You can make it bigger. And so you can have a video within a video, as you can see. So when you click on one video and the other, it will show you if you go back uh, how many stuff you have added. So we have three overlays. So in this case, we're going to delete this one and click delete. I'm going to go back. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's say we want to add a transition. So just click, all you have to do is just click in between these two clips here. If you have two clips that are completely different right now, there's a transition. It's called blur. I don't like that. So I'm going to just going to do fade black and I'm going to go back here. So now when I push play, it's going to do something like that, which looks really nice. So you could add more clips as well. Uh, let's say you want to cut this. So I'm going to go to edit. And you can flip the video as well. If you want to flip it, you can rotate the video and you could fit it. Like I said, you can do a background. You can transform this. You can change the scale, all of this crazy stuff. There's a lot of settings that you guys can change. So you can do adjust. You can adjust the brightness. Maybe it's a little too bright, or too dark. You can change the contrast, maybe decrease it or increase it. You have all of these settings. Okay. I'm not going to go through all of them because that will take too long. We have the volume here. If the video has audio. It does not. So we don't need to. Uh, sweet. So if you want to trim this or split the video right now, if you hover over it, it says split clip in current position. So right now we don't want to do that. So we might want to skip through the clip is this whole piece here. So I'm just going, let's say I want to split it right here, right in half. Okay. I click split and this will be our second video. So now we, let's say we want to do another cut here. We can just click split. So now we have more, uh, split videos. So now let's say we want this one to be, let's say we want that one to be black and white. We're going to go to the color effects and we're going to go into black and white. We're going to do grayscale. We're going to go back. So now if I go back and I push play, I'm going to go back again and I push play. You have the text. And then now it's black and white. 
and so on. So you can do stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to get too crazy with everything, but that's how you do it. Let's say we're ready to export it, but let's say uh, we want to save it for YouTube first. All you have to do is click Save Video, select your video resolution. I'm going to do 1080 just because it's full HD. Keep the frames uh, just at 30 frames. That's the standard or what you filmed in. The bitrate, just you can do if you want uh, if you want it to export faster, keep it low. If you want to export or save the video um, in better quality, keep it at high. And you want to click on save, and this will save the video. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to save it though, so I'm going to quit. Uh, the other option, of course, is to change the settings here. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to change this to Instagram TV. So I'm going to do this, okay? Uh, so let's say we want to move this a little bit to the right. We're going to click edit. Okay, and we're going to go to transform, and over here we have horizontal offset. We're going to go ahead and drag this a little bit inwards like this, and we can do that for every other video. So we can do this one here. I think that one looks fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this one, though, let's see what it looks like. That's just a drone footage, so that one looks fine, as you can see. So we're going to go back, and let's say everything is good. Just click Save Video, and it saves it as well in this format. You have a whole bunch of other options. Uh, we have Movie Maker, Slideshow. Um, they're all very similar, of course. Each one does a little different stuff. I can't do every single one because that will take too long. Uh, but if you guys want more tutorials on Animodica and stuff that you guys want me to do and edit for you guys, please let me know, guys. Just leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. If you guys want to give it a try, a link will be down in the description of the video. Until next time, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.